imagine a weapon so smart it can win a fight before it even begins. This is real. In the high-stakes world of air combat, where a single second decides life or death, one nation built a missile that changed everything. It didn't just add more power, it added a brain. It gave pilots an edge they never had before, and it came from Israel. Welcome. Today, we are going to understand how Israel created a weapon that reshaped modern air combat. We will see not just how it works, but why it became so feared and respected across the world. This is about the technology, the strategy, and the real-world impact of a genuine innovation. For decades, air combat was a brutal, close-range fight. Pilots had to get directly behind an enemy, line up their shot, and fire. It was incredibly dangerous. It was a pure test of nerve and skill. But what if you could hit an enemy that was to your side, or even in front of you, but turning away? For a long time, that was just a dream. The first missiles were simple. They basically just followed the heat of a jet engine. If the enemy shot out flares, those hot, burning pieces of metal, the missile would get confused and follow the flare instead. It was like a dog chasing the first piece of meat it sees. They also couldn't turn very well. If an enemy plane made a sharp move, the simple missile would fly straight on, missing its target completely. Engineers in Israel, a nation that has always faced serious security challenges, knew they had to do better. They needed a solution that would give their pilots a decisive advantage, even when they were outnumbered. The first improvements from Israel's weapons programs came in the 1980s and 90s. They started making missiles that were smarter and could turn a little tighter. But it was like teaching that dog to ignore one distraction. It was better, but not perfect. The real breakthrough, the true game changer, was what came next. This new missile from Israel wasn't just a better version of the old one. It was a completely new way of thinking. So what made this Israeli missile so different? It wasn't just one single feature. It was a combination of three brilliant ideas working together perfectly. Think of it like a champion athlete. It's not just that they are fast, they are also strong, and they have incredible reflexes. This missile had the equivalent of all three. First, its eyes. This is called the Seeker. Earlier missiles had simple eyes that just looked for a big source of heat, like the exhaust from a jet engine. The advanced Israeli missile has what is like a high-definition thermal camera. It doesn't just see a blob of heat, it sees a shape. It sees the entire aircraft. So when an enemy pilot releases a flare, the missile doesn't just see two hot things. It sees one hot, shapeless flare and one hot airplane-shaped target. Its computer brain instantly knows which one is the real enemy. This makes it incredibly difficult to trick with ordinary countermeasures. Second, its body. This is the most amazing part. Regular missiles fly like a dart. They can go straight very fast, but to turn, they have to use little fins on the side. It's like trying to steer a car by only using the brakes on one side. It works, but it's slow and clumsy. The Israeli missile has something called thrust vectoring. This is a fancy term for a simple idea. The engine itself can move. Imagine pointing a garden hose, the water comes out straight. Now imagine you can bend the nozzle while the water is still spraying. The water jet would bend and go in a new direction. That's thrust vectoring. The missile's engine nozzle can tilt and swivel, pushing the entire missile in a new direction instantly. This means it can make turns that are literally impossible for any other missile. It can twist and spin in the air, following an enemy plane no matter how hard it tries to escape. This agility was a direct result of Israel's focus on close-range dogfighting survival. Third, its brain. All this information from the advanced eyes and the powerful, agile body is useless without a super-fast computer to process it. Inside the Israeli missile is a powerful computer system. This computer takes the picture from the seeker, calculates where the enemy is going, and then commands the thrust vectoring engine and the fins to make the perfect turn. It all happens in milliseconds. A pilot fires and the missile takes over, doing calculations a human brain could never do in time. This combination of sight, movement, and thought is what made it so effective. Now, let's talk about how a pilot actually uses this Israeli weapon. This is where it gets really interesting. In the old days, a pilot had to perform a difficult maneuver called getting tone. They had to point the nose of their entire airplane directly at the enemy and wait for a beeping sound to signal a lock. This was incredibly dangerous because it meant flying straight at the enemy, who was also trying to shoot you down. The Israeli missile changed that forever. It fully utilized a concept called off-boresight targeting. 
Boresight is just a fancy word for straight ahead. So off boresight simply means not straight ahead. Here's how it works. A pilot wears a special helmet. This helmet is linked to the missile seeker. Wherever the pilot looks, the missile's eyes look. So if the pilot sees an enemy plane out of the side of the cockpit, they just look at it, press a button, and the missile locks on. The pilot's airplane is still flying forward, but the missile is now locked onto a target to the side. When the pilot fires, the missile shoots out and its thrust vectoring engine immediately bends it into a hard turn, shooting straight towards the enemy that was never directly in front of the jet. This is a huge tactical advantage. It means a pilot can attack an enemy without ever having to turn and face them. It turns a difficult, dangerous maneuver into a simple glance and a button press. In a dogfight, where a single second is the difference between life and death, this is a revolutionary gift. It allows a pilot to take a shot that was previously impossible. For the Israeli Air Force, which often faces numerically superior forces, this ability to engage multiple threats quickly was not just an improvement, it was a necessity for survival. Let's think about a real situation. Two enemy jets are closing in. In the past, a pilot would have to choose one target, turn towards it, and fight, all while the second enemy is coming in from the side. It was a nightmare scenario. Now, with this Israeli missile, the pilot can quickly look at the first enemy, lock on, and fire. Then, immediately, without even turning their plane, they can look at the second enemy, lock on, and fire. In just a few seconds, they've engaged two separate threats without ever making a major maneuver. This is why it's called a force multiplier. One pilot with this technology can take on multiple enemies at once, a core part of Israel's defense doctrine. But did it actually work? The answer is a clear yes. This Israeli missile was tested extensively and has been used in real combat. While many specific details remain secret, the results are well known among military experts. Air forces that used this missile starting with Israel's gained a massive, verified advantage. Pilots reported that they gave them a level of confidence they never had before. They could enter a fight knowing they had a weapon that could handle the unexpected. They could take calculated risks that were previously considered too dangerous. The performance of this missile in actual engagements proved its worth beyond any doubt. The success of this Israeli missile sent shockwaves in global military circles. Other major powers saw what it could do and realized their own missiles were suddenly outdated. They had been focused on building faster missiles or missiles with bigger warheads, but the Israeli missile proved that agility and intelligence were more important than pure speed or power. It started a new technological race, not to build bigger bombs, but to build smarter weapons. Every major military power began to try and copy these features. They started developing their own thrust vectoring missiles and advanced helmet-mounted sights. This one weapon from Israel changed the direction of air combat technology for a generation, pushing everyone else to catch up. The development of this missile also shows how Israel's unique security situation drives innovation. It demonstrates that you don't need to be the biggest or the richest country to create a world-changing technology. You need a clear, urgent problem, creative minds, and the determination to find a solution. The engineers in Israel who designed this missile looked directly at the life-or-death problems their pilots were facing and found a brilliant way to solve them. They didn't just try to improve the old design, they started over with a new set of rules focused on real-world survival and victory. So what does the future hold? The principles this Israeli missile proved are now the foundation of all modern air combat. The next generation of missiles in many countries are taking these ideas even further. They're incorporating artificial intelligence, allowing the missile to make even smarter decisions on its own. Imagine a missile that can not only track its target, but also predict what the enemy pilot will do next. It could anticipate an evasive turn and already be moving to cut it off making it even more relentless. Furthermore, these missiles are becoming part of a larger network. Instead of just relying on its own eyes, a future missile might get data from other planes, from satellites, or from ground radar. It could see an enemy that is far over the horizon, without the launching pilot ever seeing it. It would fly most of the way on a pre-planned path, and then only turn on its own seeker for the final strike. This makes it even more dangerous and versatile. The groundwork for this networked approach was laid by the advanced systems first integrated into missiles like Israel's. The legacy of this Israeli missile 
is secure. It transformed air combat from a contest of pure steed and maneuverability into a contest of information and processing power. It gave pilots a tool they could trust to handle the impossible, increasing their effectiveness and their chances of survival. It redefined what was possible in the sky and set a new standard that the entire world had to follow. In the end, this is a powerful example of focused innovation. It is about looking at a problem that everyone else thinks is solved and asking, is there a better way? It is a lesson that true progress doesn't always mean building something bigger. It often means building something smarter. The engineers in Israel behind this missile didn't just create a new tool for war, they created a new way of thinking about aerial engagement that continues to influence global military technology today. So, the next time you see a fighter jet streaking across the sky, remember that the real magic isn't just in the plane itself, but in the intelligent systems it carries. It, it is a reminder that even in the most intense and dangerous environments, a simple, brilliant idea born from necessity can become the most powerful force of all. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like the video. Share it with others who enjoy military technology and deep analysis. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss future uploads. Your support helps the channel grow and reach more viewers. See you in the next video.